And that should do it. 70 skeletons completed. But wait a minute. There's something, something in common about these. Every banner is red. But this one's pretty cool. But that requires freehand. I went into this juggling back and forth what type of a design that I wanted to do. How simple did I want to make it? I thought about maybe three drops of blood, a chalice, maybe a set of fangs, something straight out of the Soul Blight book. But what I broke down and decided, okay, this is what I want to do, is going to be a moon over the, a dark lit sky and eerie clouds. And what I thought was the best approach was to start with a white canvas and use these uh, Prismacolor pens that are almost identical to the Micron style pens and give myself an outline, uh, something to really guide off of. Uh, from past experiences, I know that if I did this with a paintbrush, it would like bleed a little bit. I don't have the brush control needed to really capture something like that. So after I got the outline laid out, I went to work on the sky, and this is really just going through different shades uh, where I'm blotting to try to get texture, working from a like a dark indigo through purples, through blues, and just get this varying degree of the sky. And now that I start to work on the moon, I had this thought of a backlit yellow glow coming off of it. Take a quick break in this video and talk about the reasoning and thought process behind it. The best tips that I had found uh, through online and other resources were to start simple and start with what you know. Well, I started simple, but I didn't start with what I knew. I never painted a moon, I never painted clouds. So I really just took a winging approach to it, and honestly, I'm really enjoying the way that this turned out. A lot of these like experiments and tests that I try and do, they could always be better and they normally get better throughout a little bit more practice and a little bit more trial uh, which in this i encourage everybody you have a weird idea try it it's painting worst case scenario you paint over it but let's hop back to the uh, progress and see how this thing wraps up as for the layering approach that i had for the moon I thought it would be best to start doing a reverse where I start with the lightest colors and I work through the darker colors. So this is just a repeated shade, adding a little bit more of a dark gray into it every time. And then when we start with the clouds, I wanted to flip it because it was blending a lot. So I started with the black and slowly started to work in some of the same dark grays that I used on the clouds, keeping with this blotted technique and just building it up, building it up, little bit by little bit until I got the final result. And that concludes it. Freehand. Really, it's not as intimidating as I had first thought. I had stayed away from this for quite a while, but I think this is going to be a regular thing, especially on banners, simple designs. I'm not going to go all out for a while. I really want to get the hang of this better, um, try a couple new things here and there, maybe a design on a shoulder pad before I really go into anything overly complicated. I'm happy with where it's at and I'm happy to stay here for right now, but I'm not going to let it stop me. I am going to grow. And if you have done any freehand, you have any tips, you have any suggestions, throw them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from everybody. Uh, what's some of your favorite freehands that you've done? So thank you everybody who watched the video. Even if you didn't make it to the end, well, you wouldn't know because you wouldn't see the thank you. But thank you anyway. And please like, share, subscribe, hit the little notification icon, little belly dingy. And over on uh, TikTok, it is abuchananas underscore Nomeo Dilbo. So stay put, we got a couple of smooth B-rolls, but until next time, abuchananas.